I've been taking care of multiple myeloma patients since 1990. Uh, when I used to give talks about multiple myeloma back then, the median survivals that we used to talk about were measured in months. Today, the median survival for multiple myeloma patients diagnosed a decade ago is, a, is about a decade. So for a multiple myeloma patient diagnosed today, it's certainly going to be better than that. The most uh, recent breakthroughs in multiple myeloma, certainly the one that is getting the most press of late, is the first approval for CAR T-cell therapies in multiple myeloma. It has turned around the lives of some of our patients. Uh, some are here clearly because of CAR T-cells and they wouldn't uh, still be here otherwise. CAR T-cell therapy has been a miracle for some people. Bone marrow transplants are one of the the mainstays of treatment for multiple myeloma. And despite the fact that we've been doing them for better part of two or three decades, uh, they remain a mainstay of therapy and they remain the one option that we have that sometimes offer patients very extended remissions and really nothing else that we do in multiple myeloma comes close to, to stem cell transplantation in, in terms of, of offering that opportunity. The future for patients with multiple myeloma, I think, is bright. Uh, the future has uh, new drugs. Uh, the future, perhaps more importantly than that, um, has a better understanding of the individual patient's disease. We tend to lump myeloma, make it sound like myeloma is one diagnosis. Myeloma is many diagnoses, uh, and we are going to, to evolve uh, technologies that allow us to say, okay, you're a patient that fits into this category, and patients who fit into this category shouldn't be treated like patients who fit into this category. I think that the, the directed therapies, the therapies that uh, target very specific mutations, very specific alterations, are, are going to be extremely exciting things. But on top of that, we've talked about CAR T cells. T cells are just one of the immune cells that we have that are capable of killing cancer cells. And so we're going to start leveraging some other types of immune cells uh, as part of the treatment for, for cancer in general, but myeloma as well. And, and I think that this is all very exciting stuff.